Okay, good afternoon. This is for F1 KJ. And here is the result uh, on my previous post about the RCA Corporation TACTEC Booster. Okay. Well, I just used the case because uh, the case is a very good uh, case for a repeater system. So, uh, I took off all the circuits and I left only the filters. Part here is a filter for transmit. And uh, right now, on top, uh, I use the board uh, Motorola AP10. It's uh, a 5 water uh, radio that uh, I usually convert it to 10 water. So, uh, this is now operating on a 10 watts operation for repeater. So, on this side is the transmit side and uh, as you can see, that is the frequency readout. I choose 14518 uh, to transmit and uh, on the bottom side, we got uh, a uh, Motorola GP88 as for RX receive. And uh, this is now on uh, the receive side is on UHF band. So I will not give you the exact uh, frequency on the UHF band for uh, confidentiality purposes. But right now uh, you will see that uh, this is now operational. So uh, this repeater is a dual band repeater. Okay. So RX is in receive. And the other one is in transmit. So, this is the output for VHF and this is the input antenna for the UHF. Okay. So, uh, as you can see, if I'm going to transmit on the UHF, you will hear my voice on VHF mode. One, two. One, two. So... You can see the red LED on uh, that side that uh, the UHF band is receiving properly. One, two, one, two. We have a clear audio. One, two. So it's uh, receiving right now. And uh, we got another on part TX side. Okay. So we will turn around this uh, unit again. So you can see for the transmit side, the... Uh, the LED will transmit as TX. LCD again, sorry. One, two, one, two, that's mic. And transmitting on a temporary frequency for 145 decimal 18 on uh, Kabuto Jammers Association. Okay, so I just use the frequency for test mode. And uh, this is now the front panel of this uh, RCA Corporation. Tech, tech. It's no longer a power booster, but it is now a uh, repeater. So, uh, uh, anybody would like to have a comment or inquiry about this uh, unit, you may contact me uh, here for F1 KJA. And uh, I will post this on my official website at www.4f1kja and to other uh, uh, web pages, especially on Facebook, Twitter, and, uh, and Instagram. So, any more other suggestion or comment, please contact us and do not hesitate to ask questions. So, we will enclose this uh, repeater so you can see the final touch. Okay. So, uh, that is the originality of the case. Okay. So, receive side is fully shielded. And at the same time, the TX side is also fully shielded with a heavy uh, casing. And uh, it has a beautiful case, uh, solid uh, heat sink, and uh, that's the good of it. 
so after we close that on top uh, transmit side I will uh, show to you the filter system that I use uh, so that there will be a uh, elimination of interference okay, that's the good of this case it has a built-in filter system and a uh, little modification so that uh, it can be used for UHF and uh, VHF mode so that is the filter okay right now for uh, the TX for VHF okay on TX side okay so that's it and by the way on this portion this is the programmer system for GP88 you can use the GM300 uh, cable to program this uh, system okay so uh, so you can choose from your application unlike on the other end the AP10 you can uh, variable that frequency uh, directly no program uh, needed or no programming um, system needed for this uh, repeater side so uh, that's all so we will enclose and then after that uh, we, will, we will finalize this uh, system okay. Okay, there will be some uh, little modification because the programming data cable will not fit on this casing so uh, we have to terminate this one so it will take us a long recording on the video so we have to take all that off so okay so that's it I think we have to finish the recording uh, to show you the video, we have a uh, little more glitches on uh, the case the cover on top cover to eliminate some uh, the part uh, here because we add some uh, data system here SCA data so uh, good afternoon 73 this is 4F1 KJA signing off 73